A civil case from 2013 against a local pastor ruled in favor of church members wanting to vote him out. The pastor has since sent letters to certain members banning them from attending. 23 ABC's Cassie Carlisle spoke with the women at St. John's Missionary Baptist Church about what they are doing in response. Cassie? Jackie, the woman I spoke with today are heartbroken that they received letters saying that they are banned from attending this church, a church that they've gone to for most of their life. The definition of church is a place of public worship. A place of refuge. A spiritual hospital. These women say that's not what St. John's provides. What he's doing is not right. He's not treating the elders right. He's taking positions from people. Larsenia Taylor, former chairperson of the Social Action Committee, is talking about current pastor Antonio Alfred. The church is quite empty now. Mahalia Smith was an usher and Sunday school teacher. She also held a position as an instructor with the state of California. We uh, make a videotape and we send out to all the different churches all over the world to teach people how to usher. Both women stepped down from their positions. I don't, wouldn't want it to look like that I'm being disobedient, so I just volunteered to step down to keep peace. Later, they received and letters so banning them from church. It. They say at least half a dozen people got a similar letter. Below is this list of offenses to be corrected. See, these are the offenses I'd rather not read them because it's just not necessary. It's become a he said, she said debate. The latest comments have come from the pastor himself in an email saying, in part, the court's decision and its interference in the church is deeply disturbing for the church and its members. The church will soon take this to the Court of Appeal for review of all that has occurred in this matter and to seek a reversal of the constitutional violations. And added, the court's order is on hold and it does not take effect until the appeal is heard and ruled on in the higher court. There have also been allegations of misspent money and resistance to voting on a board of directors to oversee the church's finances. As for the women, if they're actually banned, police say that they're going to leave that up to the church and its congregation. Todd?